Witcher a word, if you will. You have no idea how delighted I am to work in tandem with you. True, I have no idea. Better times approach, Geralt, you shall see. I trust you're not bothered if I refer to you by name. Not at all. Wonderful, I feel we shall become great friends. That remains to be seen. Shake my hand, Geralt, to mark the beginning of our friendship. Uh, don't worry, I've no poison needle up my sleeve. I believe one can learn much about a man from his handshake. Learned anything? You have the handshake of a warrior. Strong, decisive, dominating. You're the conquering type. The kind women love. I was asking about the curse. Ah, oh, of course. What would you like to know? Have you dealt with curses before? I've cast a few in my time. One victim sprouted donkey's ears in a tail, another's house burned down. Nothing too serious. Shame. Have you removed curses, lifted spells? Never had the chance. But I mastered the theory involved. Best in my class at the Magic Academy. They don't teach you about curses like this one at Banard. Glevis's curse is a fourth level blood spell. It's also known as the Archmistress's curse. A misnomer, for they've been cast by generally crazed mages or priests, not necessarily women. You've done your homework. Did you notice that not all the specters were aggressive? Hmm. Most would disappear when we neared them. I think the curse's power corrupts the ghosts of those who died in the battle, turning them into draugers. Draugers? Is that some professional name you witches have for specters? They're demons, Deathmold. Draugers are demons of war that arise on battlefields where the fighting was vicious and the slaughter particularly bloody. They are hatred and bloodlust in condensed form. The name matters little. Do you know how to rid us of these draugers? A silver sword's enough to send them to their rest. But as long as the curse remains active, new ones will appear. The soldiers' ghosts are the key. If we could reverse the tide of the battle... Don't delay. Grab your sword and start reversing. I'll need some symbols of war that belonged to the soldiers who perished here. Artifacts symbolizing hatred, death, courage, and faith. They have to be magically active and linked to those who died. Without them, I won't be able to summon the ghosts. Well, I've no idea how to find them. Apart from which, I know little about war symbolism. I'll deal with the artifacts. I have another job for you. Explain this blood curse to me. An ordinary blood curse is a trivial thing. You let a little of your own blood. Best done at midnight surrounded by lit candles. Sabrina had a whole pyre around her. Tell me about Glevisig's curse. Read about it for yourself. I have all the necessary literature. In fact, you only need the great encyclopedia of curses, spells and prophecies. And a, a volume compiled by Tessard of Ries and Margarita Loantil, Masters of Magic on Curses Selected Writings. Quite a tome. Are you sure Sabrina cast the curse? Positively. Curses of this kind are cast rarely. There have only been six confirmed cases. How many confirmed cases of their being lifted? One. By a team of mages led by Archmistress Francesca Finderbear, whence came the curse's other appellation. In any case, Sabrina Glevisig was part of that team. Small world, and one that just got a little uglier. That's not all. The curse that Francesca and Sabrina dealt with was meant to end the lives of the last of the Tyson dynasty, the rulers of Kovir. It was cast by Scarlet Rodelega, a very talented but completely mad man. A prophecy and an activator were also involved. I see. Sabrina just stole her curse from this Rodelega. Precisely. Beside which the king himself and a company of armed men witnessed her casting it. We've got our comet and murder. What about the coins? We have those as well. Not enough for you. No. Why do I get the feeling I've stumbled on some shameful secret? A state secret. If you don't tell me, your head of state may soon lose his head. There's a plot afoot within the military. Those involved share a symbol, a square coin adorned with a fish. Let's do this. I shall in no way hinder your investigation, and you will reveal to me anything you learn. Should I happen upon anything related to the curse? You'll let me know. So be it. Why is Henselt still breathing? He killed the priest, 
Why didn't he burst like a ripe tomato under a dwarf's heel? Perhaps Cleversig wishes Hensel to wait for imminent death. I don't think so. I know a few sorceresses. They're mean, true, but they also want results. Sabrina cast the curse while roasting at the stake. Not the most comfortable circumstances. I suspect she botched something. Are you suggesting Hensel may be safe? I'm suggesting he could be saved, provided we cut him off from the heart of the curse, the Battle of Spectres. It's the weakest link. How could we do that? I don't know yet, but I suspect I could summon Sabrina's ghost and force her to free Henselt. First, I need to learn the circumstances of her death. If I'm not mistaken, you need blood to cast a blood curse. Precisely. Unachievable otherwise. Sabrina was bound to a wagon wheel. Where did she get enough blood? She put a spell on a soldier who gave her a coup de grace. It was easy. The minds of some soldiers are so uncomplicated. Sabrina needed one of them to strike her, shorten her suffering, but complete the curse. However, this is where she erred. That whore performed miracles, gathered the power, got the prophecy and activator right, but fell flat on her face on the simplest thing at the end. Don't get so excited. She chose a fool, a bungler. I heard he thrust five times with his spear, yet the witch's soul would not quit her corpse. There was no one guarding the pyre? It was one of the guards the sorceress chose for the task. His comrades were irate. He spoiled the show for them. The king was no longer anywhere near. In any case, blood flowed and the curse took root. Yes, but the harlot got her due. You're gonna help me, Deathmold. Of course, as the king ordered. Listen up. You'll do the paperwork. I get the feeling you like it. I'll need a number of protective rooms to summon Sabrina's ghost. They need to detain the sorceress's ghost and anything else that enters this world with it. Find something for me in your library. The runes need to be easy to produce. I haven't seen any artists around here. Apart from that, the Draugrs are likely to begin their forays in search of Henselt. When they leave the battlefield, they'll grow weaker. Your men should be able to handle them. Just equip them with silver-plated weapons. Henselt could also use something silver to defend himself. Over the entrance to his tent, hang a wreath of sunkfoil and fool's parsley. Inside, a fire fueled by juniper branches must burn at all times. Where will I get so much silver? Melt down your collection of pots for all I care. Just get it. Those aren't pots. They're silver vases of Nazaya. Last of all, give Henselt an instructional talk. Explain that I'll need him. And what will you be doing? Drinking ale and fondling the camp women? There's that, yes. Though I'll also prepare to summon Sabrina's ghost and figure out what I need to send the fighting specters back to the afterlife. I'll drop by and give you more work as I learn about this curse. How did you divine that you might recover your memory by lifting the curse? I don't like people poking around in my life. Learning about others is my job. I must know the secrets of all who wish to approach the king. I've no problem admitting I like the work. My past has nothing to do with Hensalt. You don't know that. Do you know why I have no friends, Witcher? Because sooner or later I learn all their secrets, which is followed by interrogations, torture, executions. Just leave my past alone. Girls, prim yourselves. How can I help you, handsome? I wanted to talk. We're no strangers to the art of conversation, but it'll cost you just as much as a good plough. Sounds all right. Ask away, then. What would you like to talk about? Anything interesting going on in the camp? Soldiers are scared shitless, what with this battle approaching. They'd rather drink themselves silly than let us honest whores make some coin. Is that interesting? I doubt it. Not raring to fight, are they? They might have been eager at first, but the longer we sit here, the less lively they become. Fighting's like ploughing. Lust for one, and you lust for the other. Well, how... I'm looking for a whore. 
we've got plenty of those, but you'll need to show me your coin before you choose one. We all have our principles. Well, these are my girls. Choose, white-haired one. I've heard good things about whistling Wendy. At your service. My prettiest girl, tis true. Fool soldiers gave her that stupid nickname. Tidy yourself, Wendy. Witch are on the way. Come on in. Bastard. How can I? Oh. What do you desire, my hero? I want your smile to part the gates of paradise. Come with me. Make love, not war. and trot. You're a little elusive. Here alone? Not wise, Witcher. We'll see about that. I'm wearing Selkirk's armor, you know. Pretty much renders me invincible in a duel. Give me the chainmail and I'll forget everything. Whistling Wendy, your plot. I know about the coins. You're Death Mole's hound. I don't trust you. You don't need to. I just need the chainmail. Not interested in anything else. I'm to remove it. And hand it over. Then you'll be on your way. And all will be well. Doesn't sound like my kind of story. How's this instead? I'll kill you, take your swords and gold, and the gods will rain good fortune upon me for ridding them of a filthy mutant. Die. Spy! Kill him! Pull your legs out of your ass! Here to visit your old friends? Just looking around. You? A lengthy stay in Hensel's camp, and one is likely to become somewhat Kedwinized. I'd like to avoid that. Rightly so. I found a letter addressed to the people of Kedwin. A letter? Hmm, so? It's your drivel, idiot. Where'd you get that idea? 
I know you. Not to mention you had the gall to quote me. You're not the only Witcher in the world. So, you admit it's yours? Sure it's mine. People have had enough of that pompous clown colluding with Nilfgaard. I decided I needed to open their eyes a little wider. Any idea what that pompous clown's going to do when he finds out who's opening his people's eyes? How would he find out? It could only come from you, and I assume, at least I hope, you won't rat me out. They're going to kill you. Nah. Why did you poke your nose in this? Henselt approached me to write a few panegyrics about him. You know, singing his praises? Can you imagine that? Me? Writing a political pamphlet? Who the hell does he think I am? But that's exactly what this letter is. Possibly. But it's for a good cause. Hensel's a prick. Anyone know what it's all about? You'll meet your match! We need to talk. What? No, hello. Good morning. Pucker up and kiss my ass. Nothing. Uh, hello. Good morning, White Wolf. Will you take some tea? It's a fortifying beverage. Some other time, maybe. Can you make anything out of these notes, sorcerer? Where did you get them? Unimportant. And you've no notion what's in them? Wouldn't be asking if I did. They describe a very dangerous ritual. Practically pure necromancy. The sort that gets you burned at the stake. Be specific. What kind of ritual? One to summon the soul of an evil man. A man evil enough to wander the world after death. Souls of this kind gladly enter into covenants in the hope of being sent into the beyond. Why would anyone want to deal with evil? The possible reasons are many. You'll always find people willing to sell their souls in exchange for something valuable to them. I'll gladly buy the scroll. I thought necromancy was forbidden. Oh, it is, but I'm an avid collector of manuscripts containing forbidden knowledge. I think I'll keep it. Maybe I can become a collector myself. I need magic powder to mark out the runes. Are you aware that the formula requires powdered camphor resin? I am. Then you must also know that the resin is extremely valuable. Get Henselt to pay you. I need the powder to do the exorcism, reverse the prophecy, and release him from the curse. You should have said, I'll give you as much as you need. Thanks, on the King's behalf. I have one more thing you might find useful. What's that? You asked me for protective runes. I've done better. Take this grimoire which details many. I believe there's even one for syphilis. I've marked my recommendations. Thanks. I found Trot and a few other enthusiasts of the Square Coins. Did you learn who leads them? No. Any survivors? No. Ah, oh, you might at least have spared Trot. I'm sure he had secrets. Any reward for the conspirators? Indeed, a nice round sum per head. I don't want any gold for this. Why not? You wouldn't understand. Spoiled my day. Bloody hell. July 25th, 1270. The forests of Angren. No mighty mortal, no heap of meat or strong man can parry the strike of the slizzard's tail. Letho couldn't either, but by some miracle he survived. I helped him. After all, witchers on the path should help each other. He had two comrades, brother witchers from the school of the Viper. The hunt continued south, and Letho of Gullet knew where it was going. He knew where the hellish chase would end. Hmm. Finally awake? Where are we? In one of the safest places in the camp, my friend. 
The brothel? Mm-hmm. Did you come here to fuck? You gotta be kidding! My friend on his deathbed? I, I couldn't possibly do that. Look around. You're in a whorehouse. In a professional capacity only. How did I wind up here? I found you out in the fields, unconscious. The fog? Gone. Three days ago. Three days? You sure? Mm-hmm. In that time, Roach ventured deep into Kedwen on some secret mission. Managed to go off and come back. Cedric was right. The power within the Battle of Spectres restores memory. Ah. So, did you get a look at another chapter of the epic poem titled Geralt of Rivia? I remember who helped me track down the Wild Hunt. Who? Letho. Foltest's murderer. I saved his life and he knew where to find the Wild Hunt. I don't know if we rescued Yennefer. So, what happened while I was out? Loads. You drove off the Fog of Spectres. Hensel learned of the plot against him and Deathmold lost it completely. What did you mean when you said the Death Molds lost it? Hensel chewed him out for not telling him about the plot. Then he chewed him out again for failing to find the plotters. Death Mold's an ambitious guy. I can see how the stress might have gotten to him. That ambitious guy has had every last suspect arrested. Now he's interrogating, torturing, and hanging them. Yeah, he always goes back to what he does best. Why has Hensel waited to attack? The Kedwini nobles and officers are holding out for privileges. They want assurances there'll be no treaty with Nilfgaard, and that they'll get lands in the Pontar Valley. Hensolt's agreed. Not on your life. He blew up, roared and wailed and called them cowards. Thing is, he can't alienate the nobles completely. It went on for three days. Finally, he convinced part of the army, probably promised him a thing or two, and moved against Vergen. The battle's probably just getting underway. Any news on who might be behind the plot? They arrested Breitfeldt, Kiram of Kangorn, and Gunnar Bleckenhove and his entourage, but I haven't heard any details. Though I do know where to find the leader of the plotters. How come? I've always maintained that brothels are some of the best places under the sun. They're not only great places to... Get to the point, Dandelion. I overheard Whistling Wendy talking. Incidentally, don't let her nickname fool you. She's got a beautiful... Focus, Dandelion. Haven't the faintest who she was talking to. Never saw his face. But I heard him clearly. Further instructions from the boss. Today, in the hut on the cliff. Dandelion, there's one more thing. Tell me. Your pamphlet. If Deathmold finds out. Right. We need to get out of here. You need to get out of here. Quick. I'm not about to leave you behind, Geralt. Adventure awaits. Kingdoms teeter. Plenty of things to write up in ballads. Damn it, Dandelion. Game's over. Can't you see that? When Deathmold finds you, you've got to go. Somewhere far from the Pontar Valley. All right. I'll do it for you. I'll go to Oxenfurt, say hello to some of our old friends. But just as soon as this blows over, I'll come looking for you. I know. We have unfinished business to take care of. What now, Geralt? I need to find Sheila and the Kingslayer. Then I need to get my memory back. First, I'm gonna find out who's behind this plot, though I expect I already know. Think it's Sheila? Leave, Dandelion. Hide, and I'll see you soon, old friend. We must rid ourselves of that damned mage, whatever the... Three years ago, you promised financial assistance. We were to convey information and resist Death Mold and his supporters in most matters. Nothing's changed. But it has! Foltest and Demaven had their throats slit. Someone we know not who wanted to slaughter the unicorn. The situation's fucking tense, and Death Mold's stronger than ever. More importantly, you've nothing to offer us. The Tamarian treasury is closed to you. Gentlemen. You forget what will happen if the King learns of our dealings. We'll not be intimidated, Roach. And remember, you speak to nobles. I've been in Kedwin for three days, 
travelled through nearby villages and towns, saw old friends, sounded out the mood, asked for news outright. The people of Kedwen detest Deathmold and his thugs. They await the man who would dare to wring his neck. Someone approaches. Weapons. Easy there. What the swaven hell is he doing here? He woke up and walked over, if I am to guess. We didn't approve this. How did he know of our meeting? Something I'd like to know as well. Geralt? I have my ways. Unimportant. But it is. If you know, others might know. Overheard a conversation between Whistling Wendy and one of you gentlemen. How dare you, freak? I have a wife. It's shut. It's all shut, Roach. We return to our banners to aid the king in battle. Your plot is done, dissolved, having achieved nothing. Gentlemen. How did you ever come to head a conspiracy in a Kedwani camp? It's a long story. Literally. Foltest and I devised the plan three years ago. Shortly after, Hensolt burned Sabrina at the stake and appointed Deathmold his advisor. Morale among nobles and officers was low following the failed campaign. We took advantage. I bought them off, gave them political direction. I received information in exchange. What was your aim? To sow some ferment. Prevent any alliance with the Black Ones, and generally limit Deathmold's and Hensel's influence. You were gone three days. Been back at the camp? Any idea what's going on there? I haven't. But continue to get news from those... traitors. Who have they arrested? Dandelion mentioned Brightfelt, Kirim of Cainghorn, and... Not good. Kirim has been one of the plotters since the beginning. He knows me. Maybe the interrogators have yet to start on him. Quickly. Back to the camp. We need to warn Vess and the others. We've no time! Finally, you're here! Get him! Where'd everyone go? They were invited to a banquet. How do you know? I saw Deathmold's messenger arrive. What is this feast? A celebration. Apparently Deathmold exposed the leader of some conspiracy. The syphilitic prick. Where's this banquet taking place? The camp canteen. But it'll be empty now. Everyone's marched on Vergen. Quickly. Here. I'll kill the sons of bitches. They'll suffer and die, long and painfully.
Horsons. Every last one. Yes. What happened? Deathmold invited everyone to a feast. He said the king was grateful that we'd helped reveal the plot. A roast pig and two barrels of wine awaited, he said. He said Vernon had just returned from Kedwin. He was to be personally decorated by the king, and I was to be there to see it. The lads went to the canteen, I went to the royal tent. Well, Roach was not in the king's company. Deathmold jumped around like an ape, shouting that they'd all hang his punishment for Flotsman for conspiring. Vess, what did they do to you? I begged them. I pleaded. They laughed at me and let me go. Your Majesty, withdraw your order, I beg you. They're normal fighting men who were just following orders. They don't deserve to die. Please, sire, show mercy. They're men of honour. They deserve better. Honour? Where was your honour when... Deathmold, leave us. Your grace. What can a whore know of honor? You're a stupid little strumpet, and that is how I shall treat you. You'll behave if you want to see any of your foolish comrades again. Don't go there, please, Roach. Deathmold expects you to seek vengeance. He awaits it. He won't need to wait long. Don't you understand? They hanged the lads to provoke you. You were away. They had a battle to win. They didn't know when you'd return. You cannot go there. We won't. We'll follow the army. Kill every kid Winnie we meet. That's suicide. Plow it all. Everything I loved died in this tent. My country disintegrates. My friends cruelly murdered. I want blood. As do I. You've no idea how much. I can still smell that swine on me, but I'll not let them win. Attack Hensilt now. Among his army and blood will flow. But it will only be yours. Vess is right, Roach. Let it go for now. Fuck! What do you suggest I do? We'll try to get to Vergen through the ravines. I know a hidden path into the town. With the battle raging, we won't be noticed. We'll find Sheila and get the Kingslayer. And in the process, kill as many Kedwinnies as we can. Vess, can you manage it? Vess stays. I'll not put her in danger again. And someone must get back to the Percival and its crew. Sail to a nearby cove. We'll need some way to get out of here. I'll take the boat around the bend, past the camp, and await you there. We must head through the ravines. Shit, shit, shit. Vess is lying. I can't believe she escaped death mode. What do you suggest? Nothing. First I'll kill Hensolt, then death mode. Or maybe the other way round. What do you advise? I advise you to shut up and keep your eyes and ears open. Pleasure comes later. 